Greetings, my fellow Catholic. Today, I'm going to be walking you through three skills that I think you and every Catholic apostle out there must have when it comes to fundraising. I'm going to give you three great skills that you need to have, and I think the last one is going to put everything together, so stick around to the very end. You're really going to enjoy these next few minutes. Hi, I'm Bree Sokolowski, the founder of CatholicFundraiser.net, a website, an apostolate, um, anything that you could possibly imagine when it comes to helping you with your fundraising. That's what I do. That's the whole reason for this apostolate is helping you navigate this difficult task that a lot of Catholics um, find themselves in and figure out at, or ask the question, how the heck do I do this? So that's what I try and do. And uh, to get you moving forward, obviously we're going to be talking about some very important things today regarding skills, but I do want to make sure that you download absolutely for free uh, the Ten Commandments to Catholic Fundraising. I've got my copy right here. You can just click right below, download it, print it. Um, it's ten things that I found that have been very, very effective when it comes to fundraising and aligning uh, your faith, your apostolate, your mission with fundraising. So make sure that you download the Ten Commandments to Catholic Fundraising. The link will be right below or just jump over to catholicfundraiser.net. Okay, three skills every Catholic I think should have when it comes to fundraising. Let me break it down. Number one is I really think you should shift your uh, perspective of the internet. The reason I say this is number one on my list is because, well, the internet obviously can connect you to thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of people. Um, so it has this capacity. However, um, in the beginning, I struggled with this and a lot of Catholic apostles struggle with this is for the most part, we've just consumed the internet. You go online, maybe you do online shopping, you check your social media accounts, you check news, and you just digest content. And it's just, you're, you're just a recipient of what is out there on the internet. Now, my recommendation to you is to really try and limit your activities on consuming the internet and shift it more along the lines of being uh, producing some type of content out there, especially when it comes to your postulate. So instead of just fi digesting the news, Become the news instead of reading about what other people are doing. Tell people what you're doing um, instead of, you can just think of anything. Um, you can say, well, buying instead of buying it, maybe ask for donations. So try and shift your attention and your activities with, um, with the internet into somebody who's using this incredible tool um, for uh, all that it has to offer and all it can do to connect you with millions of people. So just shift your um, your activities on the internet. Uh, number two is learn to listen. And now this is obviously difficult to do, uh, especially when you're going out there and telling people what your apostolate is all about, especially if you're hosting an event, uh, you're meeting people, um, you're on social media, you know, where obviously we want to tell people what it is that we do. And that was pretty much my point number one. We have to learn how to balance that with listening. Um, we really, really have to learn how to listen. You really have to learn how to build relationships with individuals. So, for example, the internet, it can give you the opportunity to connect with tens of thousands of people, but you have to also figure out a way like, well, how do I build relationships with these people? It's not an easy task. That's why a lot of people uh, don't do it or struggle with it. But the ones that do, um, the apostates that do, um, learn that they get a lot more out of their apostolate. They learn how people perceive them so they can tell their story a little bit better and they can find more easily those donors as well. So my big recommendation is learn to listen regardless if it's on the internet or you're meeting people. Learn to listen. Try and balance um, what it is that you're doing. And then the third point is um, learn to get help. Um, the worst thing that you can do with fundraising is just guess how how it how it's done and how it works and just try and say well these people are doing this that must mean it works it's kind of like leading the blind leading the blind uh, a lot of apostolates out there nonprofits both catholic and non-catholic um they either don't know what they're doing or two you're not seeing the full story outside from the outside and trying to figure out well how did how did they fundraise? And you know, you'll see apostolates say, we raised millions of dollars. And then you look at, you know, they had a web page, um, they sent a few emails, they sent a letter. Uh, but really, what is it that they actually did um, 
collectively to raise all of that money. Usually there are a lot of different things in the background that they're doing that will help them succeed in their fundraising campaigns. So I really recommend that you get help. Visit catholicfundraiser.net. I've got, uh, obviously I've got the Ten Commandments that you can download. Um, I've got a book. I've got guides. There's a lot of different materials. So I really, really recommend that you don't just guess on how it's done and just say, well, God will take care of it. I'm going to do my, you know, I'm going to try my best and God will fill in the gaps. Usually that's not how it works. Um, God, especially when it comes to fundraising, just doesn't fill in the gaps. It's just not the way he, I think he operates, at least as a fundraiser. I, I really haven't seen that. Um, sure, you'll get some generous donations here and there. But, I mean, God is encouraging us to use um, the virtues. Um, he's given us plenty of gifts. He's given us our intellect, knowledge, wisdom, prude, being prudent. So he's given us all of these things. So when I hear people say, well, I'm just going to do the best that I can, uh, my question is, are you using all of God's talents that he's given to you? And have you sought out potentially assistance? Have you sought out somebody's, um, maybe somebody knows something that you don't? And so that's why I say, jump over to catholicfundraiser.net. There are a few little tricks and trades that are more than likely going to help you. So anyways, that's it for me. I hope that you found this helpful. Share this with a postulate. Share this with a religious order that you know. Share this with somebody that you think could benefit from it. God love you and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.